Peace, peace, y'all. What up? It's E Rocks, orchestrator the Gravity Movement. Shout out to everybody who supported the Far From Home project. I love y'all. You know, so many people um, shared it, liked it, downloaded it, streamed it. Um, so, with that, I say thank you. So, now that that's out, how do I stay motivated? So every time I put out a project, I go through these phases, right? You know, I, I create the work, I create the music, um, and that's probably the most exciting part, creating the music. Then it goes into post-production, shout out to my man Tech One who helps me out on that, you know, mixing and mastering and getting it to sound good for y'all. And then there's the promo run, you know what I mean, where I try to push it to as many digital outlets as I can. Um, I try to put it on every platform, every digital store, um, social media sites, all that stuff. And that takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of energy. You know, creating uh, promotional videos, creating the graphics. Like, I think, you know, for those on the other side, sometimes those things don't seem as complicated as they are. But it gets pretty complicated. And then it's waiting for results, seeing, you know, where it's being played the most or where it's being downloaded the most or the um, the analytics. And then I usually go into this mode where I don't feel motivated. Like, I feel like, uh, how can I explain it? Like, almost down about any project I re release because it feels like, man, I put all this work into it and it didn't do what I wanted it to do. It did okay and it, it got more exposure than the last, but it didn't do what I wanted it to do. It almost, it's almost like a, a, a mild, I don't want to say depression, but it's almost like this, this feeling that's like, why am I doing this? You're not making a lot of money. Nobody's banging down your door to say, hey, come work with us. Um, TV shows are not calling you saying, hey, we want to use your music. Like, it, it happens every time. Why are you doing this? There's been plenty of times where after I finish a project, I'm like, yo, that was the last one. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not doing it. It's not worth it. It's not worth my time and it's not worth my energy. Usually, after a, a day or two of, of feeling like that, something, something else happens something within me makes me like examine my heart and say well okay you asked why are you doing it well talk it through why are you really doing this I just want to share that share this whole process with you guys because I'm sure there's a lot of creatives who hit this wall all the time why am I doing this or people even in a non-creative way you say to yourself why am I doing this? When someone gives you something, you know, you don't just want to like, you don't, a, a gift that you love. Someone just, your birthday comes up or Christmas or whatever. And someone gives you this gift that you didn't expect that is just one of the best things you've ever received. And when you open it and it's like that feeling of, wow, this person really thought about me. Wow, this person really cares about me. They cared enough to go out and, and, and get me something that I didn't ask for, you know, you you appreciate that gift, you know what I mean? And you don't just dismiss it and just, you know, not take care of it or throw it to the side or just don't say thank you. Like you don't you don't you don't respond that way to a gift that's given to you that you love. So that's how I that's how I feel when it comes to the, the talents and the gifts that I've been given from God. So it's like he's giving me this gift, this creative gene um, of being able to create graphics, um, being able to conceptualize ideas and being able to create music. So it's almost like, how can I be as disrespectful to just say, I'm not going to I choose not to do this anymore just because after I've been given such a, a beautiful thing, something that a lot of people wish they had. Um, people tell me all the time, like, yo, E, I, I wish, you know, I could do what you do with the music. And it's like, I can't 
take that for granted. I got to actually process that to say what I have is unique, what I have is special, so I can't just waste it. I can't complain about how or my how I feel about hip hop and then don't contribute to hip hop. You know what I mean? So especially when I have the ability to do so. And then, you know, to be honest, I love to watch the response that I get from people when I play them music. I don't know what it is. I guess it's just a performance type thing. You know what I mean? Like people who love to perform in my in my world, that's somewhat of a performance. So it's like being able to bring um, a certain vibe to a person, create certain feelings, um, being able to to just watch their face like, ooh, it's like, you know, the crazy faces that people make. And then there's just something, honestly, there's just something in me that just says, yo, you can't quit. You can't quit. You can't, I don't even know what that thing is, but it's something in me that says, you can't quit. The next song might be the song. The next project might be that project. You know what I mean? The, the next listener may be that listener that you've been looking for. Then it comes down to another thing. How much do you love it? How much do you want to be successful? And how do you determine what success is? In regard to what you believe or what I believe success is, the next success could be right on the next project or on the next song. There's going to be times when you're creating, but there's going to be times where you're in a relationship. There's going to be times where you got a job when you're not happy. But that does not mean for a second that that situation is bad or your music is bad. It's just a, an emotion that we have and we have to push through negative emotions. Hold on to your motivations and continue to do and push through whatever adversities internally that you're going through. Thank you to everyone who supported the uh, Far From Home. Keep supporting it. Keep um Keep liking it. Keep listening. Uh, those streams matter. Uh, it's on Spotify. It's on uh, Pandora. It's on every. It's everywhere that you listen to music. So continue to to to, to rock with that. And um, thank you uh, sincerely from from the heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm picking up this big boy like he's a little kid. <laughs> Shout out to my cameraman Yoshi. Anything you want to say to the people? Um, it's not like everything's black and white and all cool and smooth. <laughs> all right, y'all. Peace. What happened to peace? Peace.